I have given up the Jeep Gladiator for a car. What's it like? Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive JT. And that's right, I have given up the Jeep Gladiator, my new Mojave, for a car. Now, first of all, all disclosure, not forever. Um, I'm on a trip, so I don't have the Jeep Gladiator with me. And some of you may be wondering, well, why didn't you take the Jeep Gladiator? You know, this was about a 15, 1600 mile trip, and it was with more than just me. I mean, the wife, the dog, my parents. So obviously, we're not all going to fit in the Jeep Gladiator. We actually drove a, uh, I don't even know what it is, 30, 40 foot motorhome, which by the way, I drove the whole way. Uh, that's an experience. Uh, not too bad in this particular one. It really drives like a, a humongous truck. Uh, but nonetheless, it is humongous. Of course, you can't see out the back. You have to rely on the side mirrors. This particular one, while I think it does have a reverse camera, I'm not exactly sure if you can use it while you're driving. Uh, might come in handy if you could flip a switch and be able to see behind you while you're moving. Uh, but I never did that. I relied on the mirrors. Biggest challenge of that whole thing, honestly, was just keeping it in the lane because it takes up like the whole lane. And by the way, if you're ever driving anything gigantic like that, uh, a little tip, at least the way I do it, I drive to the center lane, the left or the center lines, the left lines. Because if you're where you need to be or where you normally are on those left lines, maybe hugging them a little bit tighter, you're gonna be fine on the right side. Even going through all that construction, and of course, there's tons of construction everywhere, um, you're still gonna be okay. You don't have to worry about being too close to the other side, or even maybe other cars that could be coming up if you're in the passing lane, or hopefully you're passing them. So anyway, yeah, I have given up the Jeep Gladiator for a while, and there definitely are some differences, both good and bad. You know, it's kind of fun to zip around in a car. Right now, of course, it depends on the kind of car you're in. I am borrowing a, uh, it's a Mercedes. It's an older Mercedes. I think it's a 2003, I believe. Um, so it's got some uh, little gray around the edges. It is silver, by the way, lots of chrome too. Uh, but it's an E320 and it is a zippy car zippy it's fun to drive it's quick it accelerates fast it's got good power uh, i won't say it's a rocket or anything but still pretty darn nice uh, i like that i like to be able to zip around in the traffic it of course has a smaller footprint than the jeep gladiator does so you don't have to worry quite as much or pay quite as close attention as to where you're at in the lanes not to say that you shouldn't pay attention but it's just easier to place uh, I am lower, uh, quite a bit lower. You know, I said something in a video, I'm not sure if it was this channel, maybe it was the Tacoma channel, which by the way is Rob Motive. If you haven't checked that out, well, why not? But I went to step out of this car shortly after we got where we are and uh, I kind of stomped the ground. And I did that because I wasn't used to it being so low. I thought I had to step down, you know, about a foot or two or whatever it is. I, I didn't, so that was a bit of a shocker. You know, when you suddenly hit something that you're not expecting to uh, with your foot, it uh, wakes you up a little bit. Might even send a little jolt. So that was a little bit, uh, that was a little bit different. As far as the visibility in here, I gotta say, I think I might be able to see a little better out of the Jeep Gladiator. Uh, just has more open space, which makes sense because of course you're basically driving a square on wheels. Um, cutting through the wind and stuff. We have had some wind here. There have been a few storms here. Um, it doesn't buffet as much in the car, obviously. It's shaped more like a wedge anyway, the Mercedes. So I don't catch as much wind as I do in the Gladiator. I know that's one of the things in South Texas where I live, we get a lot of wind. Matter of fact, it's windy almost every day. And you're always catching the wind in that thing. It always buffets you and kind of blows you around a little bit on the road. Not so with this. Much better for that kind of uh, that kind of weather. 
fuel economy. Oh man, we have to talk about fuel economy. Right now in this car, let's see if I can get you an accurate number. I'm getting 24 miles per gallon. That's really nice. In the Jeep Gladiator, I'm getting about, eh, I think it's about 15, something like that, 15, six. So, you know, I'm getting about nine miles per gallon more, which in normal times when gas prices aren't so crazy, you know, it's not that big a deal. But there's another facet to this car, and that is it takes premium gas. I pulled up to the gas station the first time to fill this up, and I didn't really know. I suspected, but I didn't know for sure. I pulled up, opened the latch back there, and sure enough, it says premium only. Now, premium gas where I'm at right now is $5.49 a gallon. I filled this thing up, it was half full, and it cost me uh, almost 60 bucks. That means I'm looking at $120 per fill up if I was empty. That's crazy. Now, maybe I'm spoiled because I never let any vehicle I'm in run down to empty. I always fill them up uh, half, sometimes even a quarter low. I don't know why, I just have this phobia about running out of gas. You know, it's one of the easiest things to avoid and one of the worst things that can happen if you don't pay attention to it. You ever seen somebody on the freeway walking back to their car with a five gallon, two and a half gallon can of gas? What a bummer that is. Now, I know a lot of people say, well, gee, you can call some kind of a service, you know, AAA or whatever. Well, yeah, but you get to sit on the side of the road until they get there. A couple hours, three hours, who knows? I just don't want that to happen. Um, I do like this car. This car is fun to drive, like I mentioned, and I think I'll give you guys a, a little bit of a surprise. I think I am gonna get one. Not this not this level, not this high of a trim level. I mean, it's not the highest in the world uh, as far as Mercedes goes, but I am gonna get something like this. I am uh, right now talking to a couple of car dealerships in, in Harlingen, Texas, uh, looking to see what I can get. And I have to say, I haven't decided for sure, but one of the trim levels I'm looking at Man, it looks like a spaceship inside. It's very similar, I think, to what the Hyundai Santa Cruz looks like. And I think it's awesome. So we'll see. It's obviously not gonna come to this channel. This is a Jeep channel and I'm not gonna put it on here. So don't worry. You're not gonna see any cars on this channel uh, unless they're driving around or I'm making a video like this. Uh, but there is going to be something coming. I'll announce that later on in case you want to see what it is. Check it out. I'm very excited about it. So anyway, yeah, I have left the Jeep Gladiator for a little while. Replaced it with a car, but it's not so bad. I am enjoy kicking around in a car. I haven't had a car for, I think it's been about three years, something like that. I think the last car I had actually was the Honda Civic Sport Hatch, the six-speed manual, which I love that car, by the way, but the people that I had move it to Texas for me, smoked the transmission, and uh, kind of ruined it, and that's why I don't have it anymore. Anyway, I just wanted to get on here, talk about that for a minute. Uh, let me know if you have a, a car maybe that uh, you drive in addition to your Jeep. Uh, what do you have, and what do you like about it? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. As I mentioned, Rob Motive, all about the Toyota Tacoma, and Rob Motive MT, all about mini trucks or compact trucks, currently the Hyundai Santa Cruz. Check them out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.